Hello and welcome to a Magic Spanners video. If this is happening to you, you're putting your washers on and you're getting no water and you can't hear the pump as you would do normally. Like say if I put the back one on you can hear the pump. I don't know if you can hear that but I can hear that and it is working. Um, and you, there's a fuse in the engine bay which is 15 amp, I've checked that and that's fine. But we're still not getting any water when we're doing the wipers. So it might be time to change the pump for the washer bottle, which is here. These are 95 pound from Mitsubishi after VAT, the 114 quid. But if you don't want to buy one, there are cheaper ones on eBay, but I'm not chancing it because of where it's located. Um, if you don't want to buy one, the pump for the rear washer bottle is the same as the, for the front one. So if you want to save money, you can do by just swapping the washer pumps over. The fuse for the washer pump is located in the engine bay and it's there. Hang on. Number 12, 15 amp there on the right next to the horn, which is this one here. And mine's fine, so it's not the fuse. The washer bottle on the Mitsubishi Shogun is located in the most convenient place and that's at the top of this wheel arch so that means the driver's side wheel has to come off and also all the clips on the inside and if you can see them but when I take the wheel off I'll show you so we've got the car jacked up and for safety on the axle stand as well so we've got to remove the driver's side wheel so let's get on with that So with the wheel off, you need to remove all these clips, there we go, we do all around the wheel arch, there's quite a few of them and some of them might break, so be careful, but I do have a clip removal tool kit and some spare clips. So I've took the cover off and it was 10 clips, I've managed to save four, but most of them broke because obviously the age of the car. So we're under the wheel arch now and there's the washer bottle, most convenient place. If I zoom in, there's the pump and it is actually all rusted, so we're going to take that out now. And this is where your car tells you how much it loves you by chucking all that water at you that's in there and that is full <laughs> so be prepared Remove the old unit from the feeder pump. What? And there we go. That's the old pump. You can see it's all rusted up and knackered. Well, the pump that Mitsubishi has given me is a bit bigger. Hopefully it'll fit. Now that's my old one compared to the new one. It's going to fit the new one in now. So we put the the feed back onto the washer bowl. Where's the clip gun? Clips here somewhere. There it is. Clip that back onto the pump. I 
and the whole thing just slides back in to where it came from. Hopefully the bigger pump is not going to be a problem. I think it is going to be a problem. Big red on the case. There we go. So I replaced the guard and I've put new clips into because a lot of the clips broke. So that kit thingy clip kit did come in handy. There's 10 clips all together that go round, and I've just replaced the lot. So that's the splash guard back in place. All that's left to do is put the wheel back on. And the last thing to do is to tighten up the wheel nuts. Done. All that remains now is to bring the, the jack down. Doing a great job, lifted the car, no problems, no issues, and you don't even have to do the engine room. It's going to remove because this is going a bit more. Then turn everything off. There we go. So the last thing to do is give it a test, see if it all works. So start the car up. There we go. And that's how you change a washer pump on a Mitsubishi Shogun. Ta da! Hey, baby.